Just like politics, re religion isn't perfect. Just like a human mind, religion is complicated. A system wherein culture, tradition, the society, and its people interact, which governs a person towards the staircase of consciousness. In the context of society, religion is a big deal. And throughout history, religion structured the frame of civilization. This established norms, practices, and various of customs that we try to live, making it part of our daily life. These religious practices may include rituals, sermons, commemorations, sacrifices, festivals, feasts, and even visible in funerary services. This causes cultural gains and benefits. However, religion also has imperfection causing societal concerns. Thus, religion is a blessing or a curse. For today's argumentation, we will go in to discuss about the benefit and the negative effect of religion in the society. I believe that religion promotes social harmony and gives us a sense of belonging. Religion practices and rituals help us advance social harmony by assimilating and stabilizing cultures and nations. We can support this by looking at the sociological and psychological perspective. Uh, religion is a form of mechanical solidity, a social integration of the members that have commonality in their values and beliefs, a collective consciousness. This concept was emphasized by Emilder Kine, a well-known sociologist in his theory of society development. Yes, Durkheim believed that society exerted a powerful force on individuals. People's norms, beliefs, and values make up a collective consciousness, or a shared way of understanding and behaving in the world. The collective consciousness binds individuals together and creates social integration. For Durkheim, the collective consciousness was crucial in explaining the existence of society. It produces um, society and hold, holds it together. At the same time, the collective consciousness is produced um, by individuals through their actions and interactions. Society is a social product created by the actions of individuals that exerts a coercive so social force back on those individuals. Through their um, collective consciousness, um, Durkheim argued human beings be become aware of one another as social beings, not just animals. Um, from this duty, um, we can conclude that religion as a driver for me mechanical solidity causes a person to bind and unify. Well, according to American activist no, Madeline Murray, religion has caused more misery to all of mankind in every stage of human history than in any other single idea. And from that, I disagree with your statement that religion promotes social harmony and gives people a sense of belongingness. Well, in fact, religion promotes discrimination. We can prove this by looking deep into the sociological nature of religion. According to the data published in 2017 by the Pew Research Center, no, this is a research company that provides information on social issues, public opinions, and demographic trends in the United States um, and the world. They have concluded that many Americans see religious discrimination in the United States, especially against Muslims. In the Philippines, discrimination happens between unliberated thinkers and the LGBTQ plus community. Discrimination between um, homosexuality in the country is very prevalent and the Philippines was still not open to having a liberated mind in terms of accepting members of the LGBT, com uh, LGBT community um, in the Philippines. No, it is because the church taught us that woman is for men and man is only for women. This treatment gives LGBT community a sense of social hate or humiliation. This is when the discrimination happens. No? And I disagree with the notion that religion gives a sense of belongingness. No? Well, in fact, it divides people in hierarchy because religion in nature promotes social hierarchy. Like, for example, in the context of the Abrahamic religion, which includes Christianism or Catholicism, Judaism of Jewish people, and Islam of Muslim people, no? um, this Abrahamic religion is all patriarchal in nature, means all of their religious leaders are destined to be men. And this manifests in the way of how people look after the women of our society. No? 
um, for the for this reason, for a reason that uh, women has no superiority in religious institution until now, despite our fight to advocate women empowerment, many still underestimate a woman in their leadership capabilities. And this is because people are accustomed to think that way. After all, the religion that influence our way of thinking only acknowledges men as a superior being of society. For this reason, I believe that religion promotes division caused by societal hierarchy more than religion promotes a sense of belongingness. I totally disagree. Religion caused a sense of belongingness. We can prove this under the psychological nature of religion. According to Paul Bloom, a Canadian-American psychologist, humans are social beings and we are happier and better when we connected to others. It is our nature to social. People don't want to be alone or, or we don't want to feel alone. That is why religion gives us. That's what is religion gives us, providing our personal identity as part of a group with the same worldview, beliefs, uh, lifestyle, and uh, when we perform rituals and practices of our religion, it helps us to bind together and to reinforce our identification within a particular group. Whenever when we're in a religion, we don't feel alone. Instead, we feel, we feel secure because we know that in times of crisis, uh, there is someone who will stand to help and support us. According to the research of the University of Michigan, Religion could, could help social disconnected people to have a better sense of purpose in life. Researchers analyzed uh, 19,775 people who described their purpose, purpose in life, levels of loneliness, uh, quality of friendship, and religious beliefs, and that provide them social comfort. So the study shows that religion get, keeps us socially connected. Um. In addition, if you look under the historical perspective, as a people power is one of the great examples that manifests the idea of religion to social harmony and the sense of belonging. During partial law, Cardinal C. encouraged the Catholic people to protest against Marcus' dictatorship. Because of this, of this the 20 years of Marcus' regime was ousted and a democracy under liberty and the rule of law was preserved. From the presented theory, under the psychological and sociological pers perspective and its application, we can argue that religion in turn promotes solidarity, social harmony, and sense of belongingness. We all have our ideas based on our religion, but we cannot deny that the objective of religion is to attain the goals of salvation for oneself and others, and to offer proper adoration and obedience to our God. That is why I agree that religion sets positive goals in our life and provides moral values. Well, according to a study about religion, um, Religion, health, and psychological well-being indicated that people who identify as religious person tend to report better health and happiness, regardless of religious affiliation, religious activities, um, social support, work and family, and financial status. Religion contributes to the development of an ethical framework as well as a regulator of values in everyday life. Um, this method aids in the development of a person's character. So in other words, religion serves as a social, socializing agent. Yeah, yes, religion provides moral values that might set positive goals in life. But the statement is for personal growth and does not affect the wholeness of the society. Because of that, religion's own definition of morality, people tend to acknowledge that all of the doctrines related to morality must be printed in our norms. And things that define contrary to the church concept of morality should be considered unethical and immoral. This behavior, this behavior and, and impedes scientific successes and development and obstructs the use of logical or practical reasoning 
the Philippines has experienced a rapid increase in population and increased case of teenage pregnancy for the past years caused by ignorance in sex education. If we try to reflect, this rapid population growth can have an easy solution if people are open to using contra contraceptives and the co governments are free to advocate, educate, and, and encourage their citizens to, to use artificial birth control without interfering with the, ch with the church. Unfortunately, because of the church advocacy in morality, they believe that the use of artificial contraceptive is immoral. The church does not encourage the use of condoms and birth pills because they argue about morality. And the use of contraceptives alters the nature of God's creation, which is considered to be a sin. This leads to the increase in population that can threaten our food, food security, economy, and the environment. But how about living proofs that religion sets positive goals in our life and provides moral values? Um, those testimonies of people who have experienced affliction in their lives and change when they met and find themselves on God's love. Um, such as the life of Filipino actor, Baron Geisler. I know we, all, we already know him. We've known him, of oh, this actor, as a reckless, crazy, and aggressive person. But... When he was interviewed in Tony Gonzaga's vlog, there is a reason why he became that person, because of his dark past life. But when he met God's um, affection, he stated that when he met God and his family, he realized that he was not living. If he was living, he is living in hell. And according to him, true life is with God. Um, another key to this is the forgiveness of the Filipina actress, Cherry Pie Pikachu. So, um, it ha on that tragedy that, that happened to her mother, so many people asking her why, why she do that, how, how can she forward or move forward to that decision, so she can do it with the help of her faith, compassion for God. Um, it establishes a reward and punishment system that standardizes people's conduct in society. Some individuals say it is more efficient than the rules, than the laws that have been put in place since most people place greater emphasis on reward and punishment in the, in the hereafter. Well, morality is just a man's perceived good and bad, no? but science is a composition of truth and facts. We cannot be progressive if religion always impedes scientific development no? and obstruct the use of logical and practical reasoning. Just like what political commentator Bill Maher stated, religion stops people from thinking because they think all, all of the answers are in the one book, no? which is the written doctrines. It impedes progress. It justifies crazy people. No? And flying planes into a building is a faith-based initiative. I certainly disagree. Uh, well, according to um, Blaise Pascal once said, knowledge of physical science will not console me for ignorance of morality in time of affliction, but knowledge of morality will always console me for ignorance of physical science. After all, religion is not the enemy of science. In fact, I have read that science is a way of knowing and exploring God's creation. Science is not the truth, but, we, but the evidence of the truth. Science encourages us to explore, observe, and learn and understand God's world. In fact, science can even truly explain the existence of the universe and the creator of all heaven, heavenly body. That is why whenever we um, study science, um, it's always in a th th theory aspect. So, and, the, and that idea will fall under the question that who really is the creator? I agree with Mary. We have our own beliefs and perspectives, but we can't deny that religion is true. Because we believe that there is some form of, of life after death, which is more glorious than the life we live here in. We exist because there is a creation. Yes, I agree that religion defines our existence. But as we define our existence from a different point of view or form or from different religion, it causes and triggers conflict and fights. 
Throughout history, we have witnessed so many fights between Christianity and Muslims. Crusades are one of the examples of this. The crusade was a series of religious wars between Christians and Muslims. This is cause of their desire to secure and control the whole land that considered sacred by both Islam and Catholics. These are the major reasons why barriers of violence happens before in Europe and the Middle East. Um, I don't think that religion causes conflict and fight. Church taught us good morals and we should acquire. Having fear to the superior being stop people from doing bad things. In fact, according to a research conducted in 2018, they have grown, conduct, concluded that religious involvement may encourage the, the development of social network which decrease antisocial behavior such as crime. As Crone in 1986 noted, social networks are key to providing not only so, social but emotion, emotional support which may help individuals resist or desist from engaging in crime. In today's context, ISIS manifests how religion promotes conflicts and fights, especially against minority groups. Um, ISIS wants to establish an Islamic state that is considered to be a caliphate. Mm -hmm. by, this, <clears throat> by this, they can unify and control Muslim people according to their own interpretations of the Muslims' doctrines in, in Islam. Um, in Islam, is separated into two sectarians, which are the Sunni that fill 15% of the Islam population and the Shia that comprises 85% of the Muslims worldwide. ISIS in Sunni or Sunni domination, um, since ISIS wanted to unify and the Muslims for their aim to have a um, caliphate, these beliefs lead to the killings of Shia because the belief of these terrorist groups was under Sunni domination that led to discrimination among the minority of the Islam community. ISIS also aims to have a strong implementation of the religion's beliefs, resulting in violence and discrimination among the Shia and the women. Um, I, think, I think that example is more related to political interaction between people and their desire and greed to power. In my opinion here, ISIS was putting terror and force among the people, making the Islamic State's belief ungenuine. I believe they are not really advocating religion because their intention more shows their leaders have hungered up for power rather than advocating their religious beliefs. People tend to put superiority to each other and we fight about which belief system really has the true God that created our existence. How about the long-time practice? Himala o Milagro, Santo and Rosary? Some religions are not agreeing with a particular practice of a specific religious group because they have contrary beliefs and practices which people in both religions tend to ethnocentric or judge. Another culture based on the standard of one's own culture. From point of view, we argue that because of the difference set by the religion, we diverted. Greed and our desire to aim superiority is human nature. In a book entitled Crux in the Armor, Mariano Nan emphasized that there can be no end to greed because man, by his exclusively human nature, is pathologi pathologically insatiable. People who have a strong religious faith are often comforted by the idea that a higher power is represented in their lives. This faith can help them cope with their blues and suffering, establish goodness in their hearts and culture and morality. Uh, religious people are aware that our lives are more precarious and vulnerable. We seek the protection of a powerful deity to comfort our self-safety and to give an and to give you an idea about Jobert Austria's life, a well-known preacher known as Kuya Jobert, on his testimony in Tony's blog, 
that he used to be afraid of losing everything he had. But now that he has a religious life, he is no longer afraid of losing what he has because what is more important to him will be his life in heaven. Um, after all, it is not possible for any culture or any individual woman, human to have no religion because religion helps people to establish, establish its morality. Well, religion is a blessing because it gives us a broad understanding about our existence. Um, it, helps, it helps us to determine and find our purpose and able to answer questions that science can explain. Religion is a curse because it is a complex philosophy making it complicated and hard to understand. Um, it is a fight between faith and ideology, but if we try to understand the concept, concept of being religious and spiritual, we will understand that morality, love, faith, and being part of humanity is more important than dogma and traditions. After all, we are still living in, the, in, one world, in one world, and our aim is to establish a better society wherein we empower each freedom. We acknowledge the diversity of our community, and we give value and respect to each other to create a better place to live.